Okay, you're back. I'm glad. Hope everybody's ready to learn something and, and let's do this art project. I hope that uh, if you had a little break in between part one and part two, that you have come up with what you're really curious about. And again, keep in mind, don't have it something that, that don't pick something that you're, that you're live with or you're around all the time. Try to pick something that, you know, like, I don't know, scuba diving or something, you know, how would it be cool? Be something that is so far removed from what you normally do, but it's also really kind of cool, you know. It's been, uh, that's something that I've never really done. I've always wanted to, but just never got around to it. So I hope that you come up with uh, the, the subject matter that you're kind of curious about, but maybe you really haven't delved into it. You haven't really looked, uh, got online, or talked to people about this subject matter. Uh, again, I think it's so important for us to, to uh, be able to Get excited about new stuff, right? If you're not into, if you're, you know, if you're, if you're not really curious about stuff and you just kind of do the same thing over and over and over again, you know, that's. I'm not saying that's bad, but it can get boring. You know, it can get boring. But if you're curious, there's always something new to to find out, something new to explore. That's how great inventions are are created. Uh, how new land. You know, why we're going to the stars, why we go to the moon. It's all about curiosity. You know, people have this curiosity. Well, what if kind of a situation. So, I hope you've got something, right? Uh, again, you should already have your materials, but let me just say, just some white paper, right? I use it a little bit bigger here, but here I'm using some just regular white paper. I need a sharp pencil, uh, an eraser, uh, you know, some kind of color. Uh, crayons, I'm going to be using crayons. I used a colored pencil here, but you can use markers, you know, you just, just whatever you have at home will be just fine. I also want you to use the entire page, okay? Don't just be drawing something little right here. Use that whole page up. Um, um, that's one of my things that I tell all of my students. If I give you a giant piece of paper, fill it up. If I give you a little tiny bitty piece of paper, fill it up. So anyway, uh, so let's, uh, let's get down to this. Let's start this art project. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is um, I want you to draw what I call a baseline, which is your ground, your earth, something that everything will set on, right? I see kids do it, do this all the time where they'll be drawing a, 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 a truck and they'll put it right on the edge. I mean, right here on the edge. Let's not do that. Bring it up. Bring the earth up a bit. Bring the street up a little bit and then put everything on it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to illustrate kind of the way that I did this here. I did this uh, a couple of days ago and... Uh, Again, I, I mentioned to you before that uh, space, space travel, uh, that whole thing is, has always, always been a true interest of mine. It started when I was around your age, and to this day, it is, it's still just one of my passions, one of the, the biggest curious things in my life. Um, I was raised during a time when space travel and going to the moon and and there were many astronauts back hey back then astronauts were kind of like rock stars of their generation right they were just like everywhere and and there was a period of time where I just thought that would be the coolest thing is to be an astronaut and so I start out with, so that was my theme, that was my curiosity. And so the, the thing that really illustrated that curiosity to me was this simple drawing of a, 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 a telescope, right? I had a little telescope when I was 
uh, young when I started. That's all I talked about was space, 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 stars, galaxies, that kind of stuff. My parents bought me for Christmas a little um, uh, telescope. It wasn't the greatest, didn't have a lot of power, but it was very, very cool to look at the craters of the moon with this little telescope. So that was my first thing. So the first thing I would draw is the main thing that's going to tell people that see it, ah, Mr. Paul is really into space. He wants to see the stars and the planets better and bigger. And so I remember pulling this thing out at night, and I lived out in the country when I was a kid, so the stars were just so bright. You could look up at the sky, and you could see the, the Milky Way, and anyway, I loved it. So anyway, that's what I did, is I created this telescope to show people that are seeing this that was what I want. That was my curiosity. That's what I wanted. And so from there, I started adding things that I wanted to see. You know, like I want to see Saturn. I've always loved the the pictures of Saturn. You know, earlier I was talking about uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, it, we all know him as a painter, right? But one of the cool things is that he was probably one of the most curious people that has ever lived. If he had an interest in it, he went nuts. He would just study. And the thing is, is that, you know, back, like I said before, there wasn't photographs, right? So if you wanted pictures of this stuff, you had to draw it or paint it, right? And so he's got sketchbooks of, of work about one of the things I thought was so weird is this he drew a picture of the invention of the parachute. Now keep in mind airplanes didn't exist but he had this idea that one of these days human beings would fly and they may need to have an escape from an airplane or some kind of flying device right that wasn't even the name of an airplane uh, back then and he drew a parachute, you know, I mean, something that could not even be invented, meaning it could not have been built back then. But he was thinking that because he thought maybe one day human beings would have the ability to have machines that flew. Now, this is back, you know, what, 14 something, you know, century? This is a long, long time ago. So, anyway, uh, being curious is just a uh, so important. I, I know I keep saying that over and over again, but this is what this project is about, is maybe to get you to think about the wonderful world that we live in, how interesting it is. Uh, I know a, a, a young kid that, that uh, started, he, he lived in California for a long, long time on the coast, and he got into building sandcastles. And he got into building sandcastles. It was just amazing because he did these incredible things. Well, guess what? He started doing that when he was a kid. He's done it for years and years and years and years, most of his life. And now he travels all over the world to, uh, do, going to contests about sandcastles. And so these sandcastles are not these little bitty sandcastles. These things are just really works of art. But the point is, what I'm bringing up is that, you know, it started out with just, an, you know, he just kind of got into it. And he, it was a fun, fun day at the beach, that kind of a thing. But he really got into it so much that it actually is, I haven't talked to him in a couple of years, but that's, he, he travels the world doing that. I don't know. I think that's so cool. So get your colors out. Once you get your basic stuff out, I mean, uh, drawn, go in. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to color in all the major components, all the major elements. 
like the stars and the moon and the and the rings around Saturn. I don't ask for perfect pictures or anything. All I want you to do is have fun, maybe learn some something today, and, 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 and do your best. Always do your best. I don't care if it's on the football field or a drawing, or if you're baking a cake or mowing the lawn. Always try to do your best. Yeah. Hey, and I'm an old man, right? You're looking at me and you're going, look at this old man telling me what to do, giving me ideas. I just want you to know that I'm still curious. You know? There's not a day that... That's why I say I'm never bored. I am never bored. Well, maybe in the last couple of days when I haven't had electricity. But I am never bored. Because there are always things to do. There are always things to, to learn about. And, and I'm not talking about just... I'm not talking about math, right? I'm ta or, or English, you know. I'm talking about history and and uh, battles that have been fought and uh, people that have traveled like Lewis and Clark. If you don't know about who Lewis and Clark is, now you will when you get into American history. They went, they went somewhere that no white European man had ever been. You know what it was? California. Right at one point in time, it was wilderness, and only American the American Indians lived in the West. But they were so excited about getting on horseback and getting their provisions and their food and and all of that stuff. And they went someplace that very few people had ever been. That is curiosity. That's something that you can have for the rest of your life. And I hope you do. Here we go. I don't know why I'm doing this pink. My uh, telescope is not pink at the time when I was a kid. I think it was black. Everything was done black. So, uh, got your ground. Give me at least three or four things that show to me and anybody that looks at this at your artwork what you are really interested in. It could be a secret, right? It could be something that everybody knows that you're interested in. Whatever it is, pursue it. Whatever it is, don't be afraid to learn new things. So, I hope you've had some fun. I know that, uh, that I talk a lot. I, I, get that. I get that from my granddaughter too. Uh, she calls me Popo. Popo, you talk a lot. Yeah, I know. I talk a lot. But I also do a lot, too. Uh, I'm sure that most of you know who I am now. I'm, a, I'm a Mr. Paul, and I'm an artist, and I'm an art teacher, and I teach life skills and all kinds of stuff. And I hope that you continue to uh, come here and try to enjoy these art projects and talk about new stuff, you know. Um, so, keep moving forward in this regard, right? Keep, go ahead and finish these up. Uh, if you would like to, I would like for you to, if you can. I, I would love for you to send us some art work that you've done. You can take a, a photograph or two of the work and with your phone or have your folks do it or whatever and you can send it to uh, uh, the Oklahoma City Arts Council uh, you can either go to the uh, Facebook page or the Instagram page and just give us your name and maybe your school and the picture we would love to be able to uh, keep me see I'm I I'm I work in schools. I love working in person, and I just can't do it right now, right? So, so I really miss that. So, if you want to make me happy, send me some artwork. In fact, you can send me artwork that you didn't even do here, 
right? Uh, I know a lot of kids send me artwork like that too. So anyway, uh, until next time, I hope that next time you will be able to, everybody in Oklahoma will have electricity and, um, and we will see you next time. Be careful, be safe, and enjoy this fall weather while it lasts. Bye.